If you're a short-term trader, a day trader even, you probably want to look at daily trends. My guest today is Raghi Horner to talk about why that is. So Raghi, even if I'm only intraday trading, day trading, why look at daily trends? The daily trend is the dominant psychology of the market. So if I'm stepping back to look at the daily, what I'm looking at is who's behind the wheel. Is it the bulls or is it the bears? When people talk about counter trend trading or being a contrarian, we have to use one time frame to say, this is the dominant psychology in the market. So for me, that's the daily. It's the most psychologically relevant time frame. Doesn't mean I'm going to trade it, but it does mean I want to know what the trend is. A good rule of thumb for me is don't trade any symbol. I don't care if it's futures, forex, or stocks that has a non-trending daily time frame. Now for me, I'm going to go intraday. I might look at the 5, 15, 30, 60, or 240 minute time frames. If I'm going to follow the trend that's on the daily, I can do so in any one of those time frames. But if I'm going to trade counter trend, I want to stay nimble. And I kind of associate that with the river flowing, you know, downriver. I can only go against the river for so long. I can only go upstream or against that current. I'm going to exhaust at some point. Trends are that way. You can't fight them forever. So if you do want to take a counter trend trade, stick to a short term time frame, a 5, a 15, a 30, but follow the trend whenever you can and be knowledgeable of when you are fighting the trend. And it seems like there are plenty of opportunities where the daily trend is in the direction that you're going to trade intraday. There's probably, you might as well have that in your favor if you're going to do it. it, it you're right. And it's a terrific filter. If you want to use it as a filter saying, you know what, I know the daily has a particular bias. I'll work with that intraday. And if I'm going to trade counter trend, either one, I'll acknowledge it's a little riskier position to be in, or I just simply won't take it. So it's a terrific filter. You're right. And for the spot markets, which trades 24 hours, five and a half days, what is a daily chart for that? Is it is it 24 hours? You know, it's, it's funny because we're kind of imposing a daily candle on this on this market. So it's GMT. So they're basically you're working on a London clock. And Raghi, when we talk about a daily trend, do I want to see something for a month, six months, the longer the better? What do you think? The longer the better, because the longer something's been trending higher, the more the market participants on a whole agree that the bulls are in control and agree that we can bust up to higher highs and maintain higher lows. So when we have the difference between, say, a fresh uptrend that's just now getting its footing versus one that's established, Certainly you want one that's established, but the longer it goes on, the more susceptible you are at some point it actually topping. So that's subjective, but I still feel even a young uptrend is one that we need to respect and we don't want to necessarily be fighting it. Just remember when the trend is new, it might be a little bit more volatile as people are accepting this new reality. Rocky, thanks for your time. Thanks, Tim. You're watching the moneyshow.com video network.